Howdy y'all, DJ TJ here with part three of Colorize. So we've discussed setting up and we've discussed sort of the theory behind what you're going to be doing. Now I'm going to put some of this into practical application so you can get an understanding. So the first thing you want to do is just, you're going to have to find a starting point. You can start at the hair, you can start at the face, you can start anywhere. I, I'm going to start sort of simple and I'll start in the neck sort of like I was showing earlier. Now you're going to want to zoom in a little bit. And zooming in and out, that's important because you want to get close as you can to get accuracy, but you don't want to be so far in that you're double clicking having to move the screen around a lot. Always remember that your middle mouse button or the scroll wheel, if you hold that down, you can move the sort of the artboard or where you're looking at. All right, for this, the quick keys you're going to need to know is the S key for the selection tool, the D key for the dropper tool, and the B key for the Bezier curve tool. The majority of the time, these are the three keys you're going to use. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to trace this collar out, and I'm going to spend my time to try to do a good job. And we'll get rid of that field by pressing the X. Now, when you're tracing stuff out, you sort of have to make, I'll say, it's a balance between the time you're going to spend on something and how you know how much you have and how much time you have uh, when I did this the first time it took me about an hour to trace the entire thing out from start to finish alright um, let's make the hoodie let's go ahead and do a gray so we'll make this a sort of a darker gray because it's going to be in a shadow and then we're just going to pull it out of the way and there's several different ways you can do this. You can sort of turn things off. You can turn the fill off. You can move things out of the way. You can build it to the side. Um, there's a bunch of different techniques of how you actually want to build. I usually drag parts off, sort of build it on the side, and then drag them all back over when I'm sort of done with this section. Next, let's look at this neck. Now, we're starting to analyze what's on top of what. So this neck is obviously on top of the back of the hoodie, but it's under the front parts of the hoodie and the hood, and it's probably under the chin. So the parts that we really have to focus on doing correct is this sort of line here and this sort of line here. So we'll start up somewhere that is off sort of what will be covered. And we'll sort of start doing this. Now once again, I'm not worried about this edge because I've already determined that this neck piece is under the shirt piece. All right, let's find a nice flesh tone, a little color, maybe lighter. Wow, not like it. Yeah, there we go. Let's make it a little pale. Now we're going to press the S key to select it. We're going to move it to the side. Next, we're going to focus on this piece of the hoodie. Now, here's something else. Like, if you're looking at this hoodie, you say, well, maybe I could draw it all in one piece. Well, we've already decided that this hoodie front is going to be above this. So you are going to have to edge up right there perfectly and I will show you how we're going to do that and how we're going to fix the mistake if we make one in a second. So this hoodie is basically going this hoodie um, top is going to sit pretty much on the neck on the background and probably over the rest of the jacket. So let's start here. And when, when you're tracing drawings, they're kind of like an inker in a comic book. You're going to take what they have shown you or given you, what the artist has given you, and you're going to try to refine it at times, and you're going to maybe fix mistakes if you need to. Now, sometimes you don't need to, and obviously it's up to you how much you want to change something or how the lines are going to go, but I always think of it as more of a guideline. 
like I might miss some of these little bumps and some of this little you know interest that the the drawing has added but at the same time I'm sort of refining it using it as my guide my template and we'll probably go here and put a little bit of a bow in it all right so we've already decided that we were sort of making this a gray hoodie so let's do a little lighter gray now we're going to say a we're going to select the neck and bring it over and sort of line it up as you notice right here it's over so let's press the Z key and zoom in some now you want to minimize as much of this sort of fixing as you can how do we fix it we're going to select the um, edit paths tool or the node tool and then we're just going to move them around till it sort of fits like that press 5 check it out and let's see where we are at so far and it's funny because I didn't think about this I made this line really good but that was going to be under so I didn't have to spend the time to make that and you can already see that it's coming together once again we're using the theory of this is a collage we're building pieces the pieces are going to stack on top of each other they're going to what's called mask other pieces now I'm just going to sort of work through some of this hoodie and build it out and um, sort of show you what what I've got in mind how I'm thinking about doing it stuff like that so let's zoom in and finish this little piece out here and I can already tell I know I'll have to fix this shortly now I'm going to press the D key I can change it to that color if I want to I go to fill and stroke let's go to let's darken it up some that will be awesome now for this part right here I have to make a decision am I going to use a circle tool to do this or am I going to use the pen tool I think for this one it's kind of oblong and funky uh, and it adds some interest and character to the drawing so I will go ahead and trace that out now I'm gonna stop real quick and talk about this I've done two things here that might seem weird first off is I've went below the border at your border edges don't try to butt it up you just go right off the edge when you save it for export it'll crop that off if you have the settings correct so feel free don't line all your stuff up just go over the bottom of the board and that's why we had set up earlier to have the um, border display on top of drawing the second thing I want to talk about here is I made a very long from here to here when you have a nice flowing line just try to make it as with as least nodes as possible this will keep your image looking very um, nice and crisp uniform has a nice flowing lines and we'll see that a lot with the hair later on now you sort of see the project coming together this is basically what you do for the whole thing it at times it can be frustrating especially on this one it was kinda of hard to deal with the hair because there's so many pieces but it's the same process you have to zoom into things you have to look at the colors break everything down to just simple shapes and simple colors and then you stack them up okay it's kinda of like a puzzle solving process and as you do it you'll get better at it and it become easier and you'll move faster on this and then like I said like I did this whole thing in about an hour so once again here's the finished product um, sort of the last thing I did is I just drew a square and colorized the background of course you can add a gradient adding gradients to colorizing these color um, 
images are also very awesome you can give lots of depth and shadow to things but this is sort of simple and remember if this is the first time you're doing this the simpler the drawing the better you know if you if I really broke this down there's probably 300 parts here maybe maybe less but you want to get something that's pretty simple the first few times you do this once you understand the process pretty well then you can find more and more advanced um, pieces of art to do you can find colorized things that you can um, make awesome that way too so I appreciate you watching